Hello everyone, today we're looking at the Fujimi kit, this time it's a Honda Civic Type R. This one is the EK9 version and if you've seen on my channel, this is the fourth Type R Honda kit now I've done in a very short space of time. I've got a massive, massive love for Hondas. I know there's so much hate for them online, but it, it, it's ridiculous. I mean, my favourite car maker is probably Nissan, definitely Honda second. You know, I think they make some fantastic little cars. You know, I, I, just, I just think they're amazing. They're absolutely brilliant. So yeah, let's see what is in this box. There's a couple of different box arts of this. Um, this is essentially exactly the same as the initial D uh, Civic Type R kit. Apart from the decals. That's basically it. But yeah, let's see exactly what is in the box. Now... A link to the instructions, as always, in the description, guys. Decals, we'll get those done for you first. We've got Type R number plates, JDM ones, the dials, and the H badges for the wheels and various other ones for you to uh, you know, stick her up on the side of the car and on the back as well. Do with them as you wish, of course. Now, on to the kit itself. Body-wise, bodies, very, very good. There is... A little bit of flash there, but it, you know it's not. I'm not marking it down for that because that's that will just come off, you know, with a gentle rub. Ooh, hey. um, I'm actually glad this kit is silver because it's so much easier. Silver's the best colour to show you guys, but you can see there where the two sort of different plastics meet in the mould. Shouldn't be a problem, but just take take it easy. Sometimes you need to use sealer so it doesn't show through on the paint, but. Um, mold lines, you've got one there, you've got them both there underneath the lights, they do travel all the way up the lights. Uh, thankfully, they aren't on the roof. They're not on the roof, but I'd still give it a little rub, you know, usual preparation. But yeah, it's a very, very accurate kit. They're not scratches, you know, they're just where the, where the different uh, plastics have met in the mold. What is that? See, it's quite it's quite confusing sometimes. You don't know whether it's a scratch or not. But you've got the mold lines there as well. They're effectively exactly the same place, but at the front. And there's your grill as well. All molded in. Unfortunately, I'm not going to mark it down for that. But you know, it'd be nice if it was separate. But you know, not to worry. And the lower ones are as well. Very thin plastic. You can't see my finger behind them. So. But yeah, body-wise, 10 out of 10. Very good, very, very accurate. Now, clear parts. Rear screen, sunroof if you wanted to fit them. Fit it, sorry. Side repeaters, rear lights, front lights, and then you've got, of course, the windscreen and then side windows. The rear window on this kit fits from the outside, which I've never done that before, but... There's your tyres as well, a little bit on the chunky side. Personally, I wouldn't use them. If you go for OEM, I'll try and get some lower profile ones. But Now, you get three dashes in this. Now, I want you guys to tell me, because I've heard a few things that these this kit isn't quite accurate 100% in terms of the interior. Well, there's your two dashboards. Although, that's exactly the same dashboard, but left-hand drive as well. You've got the two steering wheels. There's your interior as well. Not a bad little kit. No details on the inside, but you, know, you can easily add them. There's your various gear knobs and handbrakes, whatnot. Wipers as well. And then you've got the rear spoiler. And then your wing mirrors as well, an interior mirror. Just four sprues on this, including the clear one. Here you've got your gorgeous, gorgeous seats. Another wing, another, another wing. You've got three wings to choose from. Never really been a fan of the Type R one. Don't hate on me for that, but just... Just never really been a fan of it, but never mind. 
there you have it, you've got an exhaust thing there, but again, I wouldn't bother with that. There's your dash. Personally, I'd go with that one. And then you've got these absolutely stunning wheels as well. Lovely detail on those. Now, on to your final sprue. Pretty much the same as the Integra kit. You've got a moulded in engine, easily cut out if you want to add your own. And again, that, that exhaust is easily cut out as well. Very, very easily done. But yeah, I'm not going to knock a point off of that, really. It would be a bit harsh, really. But Brake discs, quite generic, usual sort of ones. Number plates, you can do you know European or however you want to do it. Normal seats or OEM seats, but not for the Type R, I don't think. Suspension as well, and there's your headrest as well, front and rear. There's part of the subframe with the exhaust molded in, and then there's the rear as well. So overall, it's a pretty good kit, really. Cheap as chips as well. If you if you have a look on a very popular online auction site, they're absolutely cheap as anything, and they're a popular car as well. There's a huge following of EK Civics in real life, I say real life, I mean, you know, normal cars. But yeah, I mean, I've seen some of these built and they look fantastic. I've seen some built with B18 engines, K20s, you know, it, it, it's just insane. The, the level of detail that some people go with these, with these particular kits are insane. Um, but yeah, let me know, if you've built one, I wanna know. Tell me, leave me a comment. Let me know and don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the up and coming videos guys. Take it easy. Bye bye.